So I, I hope we're liking these videos without my snazzy introduction. Anyway, we'll, we'll try it for a while for this next series. I do these in series because I, you know, I'm a busy, important person that I am. <laughs> I just, I come down on Saturday and record a whole bunch of them and then we post them every day. This is my actual completely neat desk. See here? Um, and I don't know how much you can see, but this desk was made by my son. And it's, he does a lot of repurposed stuff. So this is an old conveyor belt, or um, you know, roller belt thing where the boxes would go down. I don't know if you can see them. And you can see the side here. And then he built a solid walnut uh, frame for that, which is really cool. It's my son, Rob. And um, oh, and not to brag, here, I'm, I'm going to do what, what everybody in, in, in Hollywood tells you not to do, leave the scene of the of the uh, of the picture and I just got to brag about my kid once in a while I got four boys um, check this out the rock and the tree my son Rob who makes this furniture um, wrote a children's book and cartoon Bob who does our covers for copper magazine he did all the artwork inside it's a great story about a rock and a tree and it's um, and, and Rob and, and his wife, Tina, are getting ready to have their first baby. So, pretty cool stuff. Anyway, that's my boy. Uh, today, our question comes from David Ringmer in England. Jolly old England. Paul, do you think that open baffle speakers sound better than box speakers of the same price? I, hmm. I'm not a big fan of open baffle speakers, to be honest. I have heard them. I have heard them sound extremely good. Walter Lederman, he makes a line of products, uh, the name of which escapes me right now. Uh, I'll think about it maybe as we're going on. And they are open baffle speakers. And Walter uh, sells those. People love them. They swear by them. And they do, I believe he uses DSP to make up for part of the problem. And, and let me explain the, the part of the problem and what an open baffle speaker is. So normally, if we have a speaker, we start with a box. Well, this is a book, Cozy Fon Tutti. Um, great opera. Anyway, um, sorry, sorry, Mr. Mozart. So let's just imagine this is a box, right? And we have a woofer and it goes inside the box. And in an open baffle speaker, we have a thin baffle, which is the, the, the plane that all the drivers are connected to. And the drivers sit in this plane and the woofer comes out the back. Tweeter is usually sealed in, uh, in any case. And the whole reason why we would decide to put drivers inside of a box or outside of a box has to do mostly with the woofer. Okay, now let's take a look. Here be a woofer. Woof woof. This big sucker. It's an old infinity woofer. And as it, as it moves, and you can see here's the back of it, right? So the back of this woofer is open and the front of it is open. And this is just a big piston. And as this moves, back and forth, it pressures, sucker's heavy, it pressurizes the air, right? As it pressurizes the air, we get sound, it, we get waves of sound from this moving diaphragm. And as the woofer pushes forward and pressurizes the air forward, it's creating the opposite in the rear. It's creating a vacuum. Well, it's lowering the air pressure. So increasing the air pressure out the front, lowering it in the back, and then the opposite happens, right? And by this push-pull motion, we get sound coming out. Well, the problem is, if you pressurize air and you lower air pressure to the same extent at the same time, what happens? Nothing, right? It, the two cancel each other out. And this is called phase cancellation. And woofers, because they make both pressure and not pressure at the same time, out the front and out the back, are put into a box so that the back wave does not interfere with the front wave. 
That's why we put them in boxes, right? And sometimes we put holes in those boxes, called ports, to let a little bit of it out, and that helps with base. But that's a whole other story that we've covered before. So an open baffle speaker, well, it doesn't have a box. Now, that's not a problem for the tweeter of the mid-range in general, especially if the mid-range is a dipole. But there are plenty of mid-range drivers that are closed in the back and don't have this. And 99% of all tweeters are closed in the back, too. So they don't have this problem. The problem comes in with the woofer. As that woofer in an open baffle speaker is moving, it's also canceling bass frequencies. And so typically, you have to make up for that because the loss can be as much, well, it can be quite a bit. And so we want to make up for it in the crossover so that we don't lose bass, or we can actively make up for it with equalization. And the advantages of an open baffle speaker are, are not insignificant. If you think about it, you ever hear, hear you ever hear, <laughs> you ever hear the term a boxy sounding speaker? Well, that's because the box that a woofer is in has a sound to it, and we often refer to that as a boxy sounding or a closed in sound. In an open baffle speaker, you don't have that problem. It's just as free as a bird. Moreover, because there's no back pressure on the woofer, it's very much more efficient. So it's easier for that woofer to move back and forth. Lots of good stuff, but then you have the phase cancellation problem. And for my money, I prefer a sealed box speaker system for a whole bunch of reasons. Most of them sound quality, and it's easier for me to deal with and understand them than open baffle design. So yes, I've heard open baffle designs, of which um, there are a few, out there that, that sound really good and I would have to say that there are more sealed speaker box systems that I am familiar with that I prefer. So for my money I'm sticking with the sealed box woofer system and speaker system. Great question though. Thank you for asking it. Talk to you later. Bye.